Hi, it's Becky with Bee Mom. Welcome back. I've taken a break for a little bit for a few months, but I wanted to come back. I'm excited about this upcoming year. Uh, one of the things that I need to work on this year is getting more healthy. And for me, that includes losing weight. So we're gonna talk about some of that together. Um, the reason I wanted to do this here is because I imagine that there are some of you that feel the same way, that when you think of getting healthy primarily, you think of losing weight. But what I wanna do is understanding that being healthy might not necessarily have to do with losing weight. For some people, it might be gaining weight. For some people, it might be shifting how you eat so that you're getting healthier nutrients into your body. I'm just gonna move this a second. There we go. I felt like I was too close to you. So that is our first important point. We want to make it personal. We wanna make sure that what we're doing works for us. It doesn't have to work for everyone else. Other people might have ideas, suggestions, and remember people will start with the words, what you need to do is, and really what you need to remember is, it's you, your choice, what you need to do for you. And so we're gonna talk about some different options for ways to lose weight, because that's what I know best, because that's what I'm working on. But we can also talk about um, general things, and one of the things I wanna start covering today is just some general health with you. Now, this is the most important thing that I wanna start with. When we're talking about getting healthier, we wanna start not just with our bodies, because everyone thinks of that, but even with weight loss, it includes an element of healthy thinking, healthy thinking and healthy feeling that work together. Because we deal with ourselves, our bodies, in our minds and hearts. And there's a very popular um, phrase and idea out there, and you see it a lot on social media, about being kind to yourself. And the reason you do that is because you can't be kind to others if you're not willing to be kind to yourself. And that's the whole goal. We be kind to ourselves and be kind to others. And so you start with you. And so I want you to think today about one thing that you appreciate about yourself or that you recognize you can do, even if it's as simple as when I see somebody I know, I smile. And that is a big thing. It might be, I know how to crochet a beautiful blanket and that would be great. And here's what would be fun for me. Put some of those in the comments. I would love to hear how you see that you do well, because that is important. And we're gonna talk about that. Um, when I come on to do the focusing on health, we're gonna talk about different things. So for one thing for me that I know that I feel like I do well is that I like to care for my family and I make a point to seek ways that I can help meet their needs. And I try to do that in a balance so that I'm not overdoing it. But if I have an opportunity, I like to meet somebody's needs and I try to do that. So that's one thing I notice about myself. I'm sorry if I'm tapping my microphone. So start with that, thinking, healthy thinking and being kind to yourself. The next thing that is very important as most of us know, are healthy food. Healthy food is very important. Now. When you're on a weight loss journey and you have to move into huge health, there are big changes that might need to be made because a lot of times, a lot of the things out there, even some of those quote unquote diet foods or foods that they say promote weight loss, some of them are not as healthy as you think they are. And so we wanna focus on that. So we're gonna look and <clears throat> a lot of the different options, we're gonna look at them in detail. We're gonna look at the good things about them at the bad things about them. But the main focus is to start with thinking about in order to move into losing weight and being healthy, I have to eat in a way that is healthy. And here are the main things 
that I have found that do that every time pretty much without fail and that is healthy foods include healthy fats that is um, avocado different nuts have um, fats they're lots of fat and they're very healthy uh, olive oil uh, some of the different avocado oil of course that goes along with avocados um, butter if you're careful with it you don't want to overdo it but uh, pure butter especially is very healthy um, bacon bacon fat can be very healthy again if you don't want to overdo it because balance is the key so healthy fats the next thing on our list are meats or proteins and some people choose to be vegan or vegetarian and there's ways to have healthy proteins with that with some beans um, different rices uh, look up the vegetables that have proteins in them there are some good vegetables with proteins in them so look at that peanut butter has some good protein um, usually not a lot if you're vegetarian then Greek yogurt has a lot of good protein in it so look at all your different options but with meats you want to be well-rounded um, different proteins different beefs then you'll get all your amino acids um, fish is is excellent for people so those are some good examples of, of healthy meats and proteins for you. The next one is fresh fruits and vegetables. I put veggies because I was just shortening it a little bit. But, but all sorts of fresh fruits and vegetables. If you're trying to lose weight and you want to do like a keto plan, you can even have berries and that goes along with it. And it's so delicious. And there's so many options and we'll talk about some different things you can do personally I don't like vegetables so much I find them to be very bitter but I found lots of ways to use vegetables and make vegetables that are delicious and so we'll talk about some of that some of that I have on some way earlier videos that I did and you can look that up different smoothies and things and different ways to use vegetables but we'll talk more about it on on when we're here too the next thing is healthy grains again if you're doing keto you're probably not going to include a lot of grains but every whole grain is very healthy all the whole grains some of them have a little more sugar like corn has a little more sugar in it so you want to go easy on that um but you've got wheat you've got barley you've got uh quinoa you've got all sorts of different different kinds of things rice and so just look at the variety oats and try to get a variety different grains and things and that will help you, you know have a really well-rounded meals and and ones with plenty of protein and things like that and all your nutrients because that's the goal of eating all of these in some form or another is to have a well-rounded meal even if you do keto once in a while you want to have a little bit of grains because those are very good for you so this is the list of foods you can eat that are healthy and you should, pretty much you can have have lots of these you fo especially if you focus on proteins and vegetables then you're gonna you're gonna be easier to lose weight and it'll fill you up the third step is as you know movement people call this exercise um, there are different kinds of things not everybody likes to exercise but the point is to get your body moving that does not mean that everything you do has to be about moving because that's also not a not a good way to live but but I would suggest that every day you you start with about 15 minutes and limit it to maybe an hour of steady movement um, because what it's supposed to do is help you get healthy so that you can live the rest of your life because you want to have a well-rounded life a variety of hobbies lots of things that you like to do different people that you interact with lots of activities that you like to do and getting some movement included will help you with that to be more healthy and so that could include um swimming going for walks maybe you like to go to the gym go to the gym maybe you like to do exercises in your house do exercises maybe you like to just dance around and be silly do that just do it for 15 minutes um, whatever you can come up with where you're moving 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 steady 
there you go. Once you feel that you're tired, once you feel that you're out of breath, stop and take a break and walk a little bit. And we're going to talk some more about um, different, different techniques with this because different people at different ages, some and different people with different capabilities need different types of techniques for movement. Not the same thing works for everybody because remember what we're doing is making it personal. So that's what we're gonna talk about this year. That's what we're gonna work on this year, you guys. I hope that Bee Mom helps you. I was hesitant to restart my channel, but I think, I think this is gonna work out okay. And the more I hear from you, the more excited um, and exciting that the whole thing can be. So please subscribe to the channel. If this is something that is interesting to you or you feel might be helpful to you, please click that like button. That would just be a, such a big help to me. And I am looking forward to hearing from as many of you who want to comment and I will try to get back to as many as I can. And thank you so, so much. I enjoy, I enjoy you all so much. Mm -hmm.